Hello, YouTube friends. I'm back with Mary today, and I am uh, decided. I've decided to go ahead and make a little video um, showing you the jewelry and um, how I'm actually gonna make a few of the. Uh, I think I end up making like three um, little charms, little jewelry dangles for it. Um, I had already made you know the ones I'm showing you right now so um, yeah I was just kind of showing you uh, just the different angles and how you know I dangled them I'm trying to bring this up a little closer up so you could see some of them and um, yeah I really love the jewelry on them and uh, or on on Mary and some of them I think most of them I've I basically put them together uh, some of them were kind of more simple like the first one there that's kind of like a little gold brown it's kind of it was already like it had already like a lobster clasp on there so it was already kind of just easy to just hook on there and i put it on a paper uh, not a paper clip but a one of those little um what do you call those um pins i guess i can't think of the name of it but anyway you're looking at it and uh so yeah so there's a uh so there it is dangling on it um further along i, I make a similar use a similar one in red but I, I hang it directly onto the lace so these are just a couple of fibers i've put on the top it was some of that burlap uh material that had those bits leftover and I just felt like that was perfect for those little tags and so I wanted to show you that um, and then these are the um, the tags that I purposely wanted to make them um, to have some jewelry on top so that you could see the um, how cute they look look at that aren't they precious oh I love it look at that I think it's so cute and um, you know I mean I like it because it's like double duty you know you can take it out and journal it and it's just cute on all on its own and then you know you can put it back and then it, it just serves as a dangle you know so I thought that was kind of a fun thing to do um, I don't think that I picked that up from someone <coughs> there's no telling because I do watch a lot of videos but um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I can't think of anyone. I'm sure there's people that do that, but anyway, that, that just came came to me and uh, I just think they look so cute. They're like little sisters. And um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put those baby girls back in there and um, one on top of the other. And then they're gonna dangle. I, I kind of don't like that if you just leave them like that, there's you know you gotta kind of hold them but anyway that's fine um so yeah if you keep moving along um oh there's a little tag that is a smaller version of the bigger ones and uh, i just i love the colors and i just think it looks really cute there so i'm gonna go ahead and pull out a paper clip and just clip it on there until I decide what I want to do with it. I was thinking of adhering it, but then the back is cute too. You know, it's got that um, tea dye paper in the back and then um, sewn in and then that little, there's like a little bit of fabric that I put on the bottom in the little corner and I just love that. So if I adhere it, it just, you know, you kind of lose that and uh so i didn't want to lose that so anyway i'll just clip it there and then that might be something cute for uh, someone to like write on and then put it in that pocket if they want but um anyway i say that as if i'm gonna give the book to somebody which i'm not <laughs> basically gonna keep this one look at that little dangle Ooh, it's an earring and um it's like a little gift a little rhinestone gift so I, I didn't show you that before 
so that's why I'm showing it to you now. I'm trying not to do any repeat. Look at this dangle. Ooh, cutie patootie. It's got polka dots. Polka dots, Christmas polka dots. Look at that. Oh, look at it. <laughs> I love that little dangle and I love how it comes out of that card. I didn't want to pull that card out because then I got to paper clip it and but love it so much and then uh look at this it says joy so pretty and and that was you know i kind of disassembled a charm that i had and that's one of the pieces the other one was not the beginning of the book further further in i think it was one of the two girl tags i say girl tags they're they're not necessarily girl tags but i don't know i just feel like they're little girls i don't know I don't know um, so moving along um, yeah I just wanted to show you a few of the tags that I had on uh, finished up I put a little red ribbon on there just thought it looked cute and you know we just finished it off a little bit better same thing here just put a little bit there that I found that fit there and uh, you know, it's kind of hard for me to have a pocket and not put something in it and then there's uh, yep that one is a, you know a kind of a, not adhered but it's got that pocket that music page attached to the other page and so it's kind of like I didn't need to put a paper clip like I did with the other one because it, it was holding just fine um, so but I love it it's a little it's a really dark green glass bead and um, it's kind of hard to see the color. It looks a little black maybe, but that's okay. Then there's that little bow again on that little boy and um, that little boy tag. And then this one, um, I kind of went through it pretty fast, but I put that fiber, that black fiber on that teeny weenie. And also that sticker, that, that puffy sticker. I love how that layered that look because when you put it back in it kind of makes the tag behind it peek through oh I think that's just precious it was so fun it made me so happy and then that tag is uh, from Walmart it was just a really really thick tag I'm like my goodness but it was just beautiful stunning and look at this one I like that little elf that's got looks like he's got you know frosting or something all over his face I love that. So I sewed a button, put that trim on the bottom, and put that little bow. So that's, you know, to complete the thing. So and I had, again, I'm just going over stuff that maybe um, we haven't looked at. So then there's that little tab, that fabric tag that I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I have. Or, or you know, oh, look, there, there's a, another tag. I put a different kind of red top on it but anyway um yeah this this one i also was not a completed tag yeah that cinnamon jelly okay so this is um a tag that i finished up by putting that um eyelet and then that again that pretty netting type fiber and then i put a little tag and then i put a little another little bow on the top there so and i ended up putting that admit one ticket on the on the back I was, I was talking about how if i wanted to get crazy i would do that and of course i'm gonna get crazy with it so there we there we are so um so there it looks that's what it looks like when it's kind of standing and ooh, look at the jiggly <laughs> i'm jingling the little um jewels so what i'm doing now is uh showing how i add some of these charms some of this jewelry to the book and as you can see this is kind of like a garnet or something or ruby colored looking uh, faux stone and I'm just gonna it already has a clasp like a lobster clasp and so I just adhered it to the lace you know a little loop in the lace and um, yeah I like it I like it like that so I think it looks really pretty right through the middle there. Uh, now I'm taking out some more elements because I want to have, 
actually I'm I'm looking to see you know in those tabs I think it was three of them that I'm missing some kind of jewelry bit that I want to put on there so I'm kind of trying to decide and I think the the, the one I'm going to do now is um, these are tiny little pins and um, safety pins I guess is what they're called I don't know why when I do videos I forget what things are called apparently so when I say this thing the good thing is you could probably see it so you know what I'm talking about <laughs> but anyway I'm working on this pompon and I am uh, wanting to turn it into a charm so I'm getting a I don't know here we are with the not remembering what things are called but it's it's like a it, it's like a little um it's got an eyelet do you see the eyelet on the t this little eyelet and um i just it's a pin you know and i just put it put it right through it is a jewelry it i did buy that at the jewelry department i think at joann's so um anyway i i just pulled put that right through the middle of it and you know so that it'll adhere or you know stay there pretty pretty well then I get my implements that are for jewelry making, which I bought a set. I want to say I used my 40% off coupon at Michael's and uh, got a kit, like a little set. So um, anyway, I'm putting, I cut a piece. So the other piece that was like loose and remaining, I went ahead and adhered it like that to the that little piece of board because I didn't want one of those little things to be loose around the floor and then step on it or my poor champ doggy stepping on it no was not gonna have that so made that extra effort to make sure that I put that somewhere where it would be easy not to lose and no those are tiny things to lose so you definitely want to have something nearby to um, put it on so that it won't get lost in the floor and then you find it on your foot one day okay so uh yeah so then that little bit that is remaining i am twisting the heck out of it with this little implement which i don't i'm look doing the voice voice over so i it it shows very small it's very hard for me to see if i don't know if you can see it you know because hopefully once the video is uploaded it, it shows bigger than what I'm looking at when I'm doing the voiceover right now so but anyway I'm hoping that you can see the implement that I'm using and the you know the tools because you know I know when I was doing this I always wanted to know what are people using and what you know how do you do this and and that is what this video is about it's about how to put your jewelry on your book so um, hoping that's helpful if for some reason uh, you, you have questions about any of these things, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to, to uh, you know, find, find out if I didn't talk about it um, or something. But yeah, these are these implements that I use for jewelry making and, you know, they really do make your life easier. I mean, I literally didn't even have to put on my cheater glasses on, which I normally have to do that when I'm doing jewelry, but... It was a, just this really bright day today, good lighting, and so I didn't have to do that. But anyway, th this is a little piece of chain that, again, I got from the jewelry store. Actually, that one is was a gift, so I didn't have to pick it up, but I know they sell them at any of the craft stores. And so you can got, kind of get a spool of it. And so I just cut enough to where, you know, it can adhere to the the thing there to the little charm and then also kind of loop around and be able to dangle you know because otherwise if I if I make a chain that's too short I don't know and I, I feel like there's a little more girth to it if you put like a double chain you know kind of make it a little more secure I guess maybe that's not true but that's what I think so this little bell has, I showed you just there, a space where I could put that um, eyelet. Uh, and actually, I'm going to use the remainder of that 
other one <clears throat> and so I didn't waste anything um, I used it all and so this is that other piece that was remaining and so I used the implements there again to twist and of course that that didn't have an eyelet because it was the 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 end bit that I cut out and so I made like a little eyelet if you will by twisting it around and I don't know if you'll be able to see in the video because I did speed it up a little bit but it ends up falling out and so then I have to kind of go back in and tighten that a little bit because you know you got to kind of maneuver the metal piece a little bit in a way that you know you it, it's usually better instead of like separating a loop like completely from left to right it's it's better to do it front and back I don't know if that makes any sense but um, because it's easier to then you know close it out and it closes better but in any case um, yeah that's what I'm doing here I'm doing the little bell and I'm using that eyelet that did not have an eyelet because it was a piece of an eyelet uh, you know deal so um, yeah I'm just kind of now I'm making a second loop because the first one was to adhere to the actual little bell and the other one is so that I can adhere some of that uh, chain to it so again that it will be a dangle and so um, I've made it long enough to where it kind of doubles again because I like I guess the look of it I feel like if it was just one string that it would not hold well enough I guess I don't like I said I don't know if that's just something I feel like it, and maybe not may not be true but anyway you would think that two pieces of chain are better than one usually right okay so I am closing out the the little chain on there um kind of dangling it really hard to make sure it doesn't fall out again and now I am putting it in a little pin um, safety pin it's a those little tiny ones I showed before it was like a gold color and there it is I've uh, now uh, pinned it to the tab so um, yeah I think that's basically yeah that's it those are all of them and so now this is what it looks like I almost feel like the really long ones I should have probably done further at the beginning of the book so they could dangle longer and then the other ones you know could be further down you would think that's the smart way to do things but you know that's okay it's still really pretty I love the way it looks now as I'm seeing the pages and you know how it um, like embellishes that particular page I love it I love it just the way it is and I'm jingling it all over the place in hopes that you can enjoy how fun that looks and give you some inspiration uh, on how fun that that was for me to make and I hope that you will be inspired to do it as well um, Please comment below if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and of course I'm gonna ask you to subscribe if you have not and you would like to continue to see these videos thanks a lot guys see you in the next one